YouTube, what goes on? Welcome back to Dis About Action Figures, bringing you Toy Hunt episode number 322. It's a windy, warm day here in northeastern Pennsylvania. I'm in the Allentown Lehigh Valley area looking for new GI Joes, looking for new uh, NECA, looking for 50% uh, off NECA at Walmart. Uh, who knows what we're going to find? Uh, but before we get to that, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you, it does not cost you anything, and it helps us grow the channel. Two minutes in March to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. So YouTube will notify you and tell you when we post new content here to the channel. You can wait to do toy entries and streams. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. You can daily toy content, daily toy content. Try and check us over Instagram and Twitter. And this about underscore 12. Sorry, it's so windy. Let's see what they have inside. All right, so main aisle here at the Airport Road Target. And uh, yeah, very little for Marvel Legends going on here. As you can see, there's another one laying down here. Looks like it's another spider shot. Let's put him back up there with his brother. Uh, down this way, looks like we have some new G.I. Joe. Uh, might be a daily and a dollar short. I did try to get out yesterday and we had some obligations that didn't allow it to happen. So looks like we do have the Airborne here. Uh, somebody hit me up, I think it was on Instagram, and said that they did find this new wave at one of the local targets. So uh, that's here, good to see. Um, down this direction, what else we got going on? Nothing really. Store's kind of empty. Got a ton of mutton junk here. It's going to be a shame if they go on clearance because that's a great two-pack to have. I got that pretty early on at full price, which I don't mind. I don't want to play the waiting game. I really dug it. So down this way, wrestling, also a dumpster fire. So very little going on here to kick off the toy hunt. Let's see what's over in NECA because this is a dumpster fire. So the mid NECA section, we've seen all, all this before. This has been here. Um... So nothing new there. Lots of dinosaurs here, but check this out. We saw this last video. They do have at least one of the four packs. So uh, we found a loaded, a loaded target, absolutely loaded uh, last toy. And check that out if you're interested. Uh, got a big old Target Holothon logo on the thumbnail. You can't miss it. Down this way, we have a ton of Naruto going on here. So uh, let's go check the, we used to be the main NECA section, but I kind of feel like this is kind of the de facto main section now. Let's go check the other ones. See if there's any more. Uh, Holothon stuff over there. So I used to consider this the main section, and uh, yeah, this is what we got going on. Hey, there's the final boss again. Very loud in the background is the final boss. Uh, Predator 2 sitting here, Aliens, Flash Gordon, Backer Walkie, another dinosaur figure. I mean, there's a lot of Earl St. Clairs. Here's some Holothon here. So there's Leonardo. We've seen that before as well. Uh, this was restocked from last year's Holothon. That was also for this year's Holothon, I believe. There's two of those here. So they do have some stuff here for Holothon. Uh, here we go. I haven't seen these before, I don't think. There's the Commissioner Gordon, uh, DC McFarlane Toys animated figure. Looks pretty damn good. Looks just like the uh, cartoon character. Lock up being the build a figure or collect the connect, whatever the heck they call it. We also have Batman down here. We've seen that before and another Batman. So cool seeing this for the first time though. But I think that's going to be it for this store. Let's go see what we can find elsewhere here in the uh, plaza area that I'm in. All right, so it's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, which made me think of a uh, random question of the week. Yes, random question of the week. If you live in a, cli you live in a climate where it's very hot in the, the summer or, you know, year-round, like you lucky Florida and California people, let me know in the comments. What do you prefer? Do you prefer, prefer the spray suntan lotion or the stuff you rub on yourself? That sounds weird, right? <laughs> Sounds like Big Dog, rub it. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments for uh, suntan lotion, the spray or the uh, the cream. You gotta, you know, take the time to rub in. Let me know, I'm curious. It's nice day out here. Pretty soon I'll be wearing suntan lotion. Okay, Ross, more toys, let's go. But that was the random question of the week. All right, so starting here at the pegs and other than the uh, peg punchers, there's not a whole lot going on here. So peg punchers, $4.99. Quite a few of these, Flash, Superman. Let's look at the comic book, it's kind of cool. I don't collect them. Even at $4.99, I wouldn't buy them. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's kind of cool. Got some statues and stuff down this way. Everything's falling over. Move one thing, it falls. Uh, but uh, let's go check up in the other section. Again, I don't expect to find much here. But uh, if you don't go, you don't know. And frankly, I wanted to know. So let's see. So the other section had nothing at all. <laughs> and I'd also like to point out that Ross continues to have the alarm going off all the time. So we're gonna move on from Ross down to five below for a real quick stop in there because people were finding those Master of the Universe figures. I doubt I'd buy them if I saw them, but for five bucks, be kind of neat to see them in the store. So let's check out five below. All right, so first section, I'm checking the end cap. Of course, tons of pops. We got Bob's Burgers going on. We got Liam Calder from Oasis got a pop. Good for him. Um, he's a love their, their band other than when they were fighting. 
But uh, okay, let's see what else is in here. Pretty loud music, I gotta talk over it. So it looks like just mostly pops and like a little blind bag figures and stuff going on here. I'm not seeing any Masters of the Universe. I'll look through a little bit more because they kind of added the five beyond part in the back. I don't know if that would have have the, the He-Man back there or not. But yeah, there's the, the Disney Mirrorverse stuff again here. We saw that before at other stores. But uh, you don't think I'm refining Mo2 here. It's got Monster Jam going on. My nephew would love that. All right, it's checking in Ollie's here on Catasauqua Road near the airport road target. If you want to know the geography of the area, it's right up the highway. Uh, but yeah, people have been finding that uh, WWE 4-pack that they recalled uh, here. I already have it, but uh, curious to see. Get love here in Ollie's. Good stuff. Cheap. All right, so back in the main section here. Uh, main toy section, I should say, for Ollie's. Uh, shout out to Lago Figs. Take a trip to Lago Land. L-A-G-O underscore F-I-G-Z. He's doing some great toy hunting and fun stuff on his channel over there. Uh, give him a sub and some views. Uh, he did find for me uh, the, uh, is it the frog or the toad? I'm blanking right now from uh, the uh, Boss Fight Studio Bucky O'Hare down in Florida of all places. He's on a, I guess he was on a trip. So thank you to Lago. Uh, also shout out to Toy Migos. All the guys he hangs out with on uh his two, their Tuesday and their uh, Thursday shows. Um, but looking around, does not look to be anything new here. It's all the same legends and stuff that they've had. What's left over of the basketball players are still here. All the hoops are long gone. Sorry for all those people who asked me to try to help them out. I was not able to find too, too many of those. Um, but other than that, not much here at all. So I think I'll look around a little bit longer and see if there's anything else I can find in other sections. But I think... That's probably all we're gonna find uh, here at this particular Ollie's, but you gotta check in. You gotta look, you gotta do your, do your due diligence, right? Cause if you don't go, you don't know. So, all right, I think we're getting out of here. So check this out, <laughs> gazing balls. Insert your own joke here. I'm not, uh, I'm not above the toilet humor here. I'm just about action figures. <laughs> and as stated, doing my due diligence, despite the fact I'll probably be totally destroyed and distraught yes i just randomly use all those d words in a row on purpose ross MacArthur road and of course the alarm is going off like i mentioned in the last store uh checking the front section right away we got some freddie mercury pops 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 wakanda forever and she hulk but alas nothing else here let's see what's in the back in the main section so here are the main pegs hey we got a bazooka back there it's been a while since i saw him at one of these stores I've seen him quite a few times but not that often uh, some more of the Nerato going on. Apex Legends, two ninety nine. It's absolutely insane. Nothing I collect, but the two ninety nine figure is crazy. Uh, we got Bazooka down here. More of the Page Punchers we saw earlier. Comic books and little guys with them. Got a turtle right up in front here, front and center. But it seems to be about it. I think we're going to take a walk over to the right here and check the shelf area. But I think. We're not gonna find too much stuff here, unfortunately. And over here, we do have some Princess Bride action going on. Got these things <laughs> that we got going on there. Down this way, some other stuff, but not really seeing too many figures here. It's probably pretty picked through already. It is a Sunday. Usually by the time I get here on a Sunday, it is picked the hell through. So I think we're done here and we'll go check some more locations. But you always gotta check. You never know what's gonna be here. Well, if you saw last video, this was seven bucks. I figured, you know what? Screw it. It's a vampire. Blade can fight him. Seven bucks. Why not? Although it's not Owl Man, it's rock, but you get the idea.
season. You go to Walmart three times the same day because I'm a crazy person. So I realized I did not have this in my collection. I've never opened, well, that leg looks a little bit rough. I've never opened my TMNT before. Uh, I do have both of the uh, Brothers two packs. I have the Farmhouse two pack. And I also have the Shredder, the, the Ooze Shredder. Um, and some other ones, not too many, but a decent uh, shelf, right? Uh, that I'll eventually put together. But uh, Art G, great Art G, G stands for great. Uh, buddy hit me up and said he also would have liked this for 25. So they had two of them there. So I grabbed one for myself and one for him. They are both pretty beat up. <laughs> they had the freaking spider security thing on there. But yeah, if I have all four of the brothers, I need Splinter, I need the original Shredder. Um, so yeah, I came back and grabbed them. 25 a piece, I mean 13 and 12, <laughs> you can't beat that. So, uh, yeah, Archie, gotcha, buddy. See you at the next toy show. But uh, there were people who were in the aisle had to kind of rudely push past because, of course, I'm a toy collector and I assume they're going to take them from me. Um, so <laughs> I kind of said, I'm sorry, can I please sneak in and grab those? Uh, so, yeah, for 25 a piece, you can't, you can't beat that. All right, so I get that I'm, I'm the stay in your lane guy. That's what I always say. But I've been slowly collecting these since they came out. The turtle's obviously a full price. So I kind of had to do this. <laughs> Uh, to complete the collection. So there we go, 25 bucks a piece. Two of them, TMNT coming at you. And Walmart, MacArthur Road. I wanna see if they have any more of the NECA collectibles 50% uh, off or whatever the good deals were going on from the last video. Uh, you saw I made some pickups uh, taking advantage of that deal, but there's usually a pretty good backlog of NECA here. So I wanna see if they have any other stuff that maybe the other stores did not have and see if I can get it cheap, if I like it, of course. All right, so here is that NECA section where they're really slashing prices. That's not too great of a deal for best action, I don't think. Uh, what do we got on this sticker here? 25 for Hooper. So the Jaws figures uh, are apparently also slashed down on price. TMNT, Fan of the Opera, down to 20. I don't collect these. I do collect some turtles, not many. I definitely was not in on their Universal Monsters crossover line. 25 is great, but I, you know, the problem with clearance is it can pull you into things that you really don't collect, which I try not to get, have happened to me too often. What I was hoping to do was find a store that maybe screwed up and had like something new like this down to like 25. Obviously they do have that marked as full price. I'll probably scan it anyhow. 25 for that. That's not this. So that's probably still full price too. We got a G.I. Joe thrown over here. We will check the main aisle too, because basically Walmart's clearance almost all, their entire action figure aisle at this point. So you can see a lot of these stickers. Here we go, 25, Team and Team multi-pack. So that might've been the splinter one. They're all gone. So, all right, I'm gonna look around a little bit more and uh, we'll kind of see what else we can find here. So king of the aisle status, at least for the moment. So you know the deal, if I suddenly stop filming or talking, it's because the aisle got filled up. It is a, a weekend, so. It's a good possibility could fill up quickly out of nowhere. So TMNT going on here. Again, just kind of seeing if they have anything new or any more clearance going on here. I was kind of hoping maybe they were ahead and they were at the reset. Uh, I might scan those, see if they're on clearance. I doubt it. They were not at my local. But down this way, we got the Jesser section going on for dinos. We got Mo2, not much here. We have three Hogan Monday Night War figures, which I know those were hard for people to find. DC Multiverse. Is this Nightwing? That's pretty cool. It's my first time seeing him in the wild, I think. Oh, it's Zombie Nightwing, even better. Or Vampire Nightwing, whatever you want to call him. Pretty cool. I did pick up the Robin for seven, but I'm not going to pay full price for that. Um, I never check these stickers, by the way. So if you ever see a chase, you know, let me know in the comments afterwards and let me know I missed it. Um, I'm actually not seeing any clearance stickers. So there's one there. 27 is still too much for that. Uh, looks like we have new Star Wars over here. We've seen this before at other stores. Bunch of Darth Vaders. Uh, this is sitting here too. It's been a while since I saw that here. Or anywhere for that matter. Uh, but not looking like we're going to find anything here that I need to take home with me. So I think we're going to call it a hunt there, everybody. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It does not cost you anything. And it helps us go with the channel tremendously on the march to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. That way YouTube will notify you and tell you when we post new content here to the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disabout underscore 12. Hey everybody, if you're going toy hunting this week, please try to remember 
the three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, most of all, politeness. Take care, stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs. Bob.